we created a database within our health system back in March to collect data about patients with diagnoses of hematologic malignancies who were then diagnosed with COVID-19. So in order to be included in the database, the patients had to have a diagnosis of a hematologic malignancy within the past five years, and then a subsequent diagnosis of COVID-19, which was confirmed by an RT-PCR of a nasopharyngeal swab. We had a relatively small number of patients diagnosed with COVID-19 who met these criteria. In total, there were 21 patients and almost all of those patients were above the age of 60. Uh, in terms of their hematologic malignancies, it sort of ran the gamut from multiple myeloma, multiple types of lymphoma and acute leukemia. Multiple myeloma was the diagnosis that was most represented in the cohort, but these were very small numbers of patients. Uh, about half of the patients were on active treatment at the time of their COVID-19 diagnosis. Um, and the vast majority of the patients had either um, a history of tobacco use or current tobacco use. In terms of outcomes, um, there were of the 21 patients who were diagnosed with COVID-19, 20 of them required hospitalization and seven of them required ICU admission. Um, of those seven who required ICU admission, six of them required intubation, so had very serious um, COVID-19 disease. Most common presenting symptoms were as expected, fever, cough, and shortness of breath, each in about 50% of patients. And at the time that we were collecting the data from March through July, we knew less about treating COVID-19 than we do now. So about 62% of these patients received some sort of COVID-19 directed therapy, either hydroxychloroquine, remdesivir, tocilizumab, and a small number received convalescent plasma. Keep in mind again that this was from March to July and how we were treating patients at that time is not how we're treating them at this point in time. And then in terms of overall survival, 18 of 21 patients who were diagnosed with COVID-19 are alive at this time. Of the three patients who died, all of them were above the age of 70. Um, and they had a variety of diagnoses. One had nodular sclerosis Hodgkin's lymphoma that was in complete remission. One had mantle cell lymphoma and one had primary myelofibrosis. The only thing otherwise that these three patients had in common was that they were all former smokers.